your friend. This is where taken. Kept. Careful. Yes. Salty, but less than expected. What does that mean, Captain? A lot of things. Asma, we should depart. Danger to be so close to water edge. Monsters. When is low tide, Doreen? On. And the creatures, do they have a sleep cycle? Yes. They sleep in the early morning hours, but not for long, and not soundly. Understood. What I wouldn't give for our TIE Fighter's weapons to be functional. We could blast this from the air with ease. Yes, we have to find another way. Stop! Ah. Where did you get this? Great-grandmother, Aliane, oldest living Lupor, born in the stars. Aliane, give the necklace to me. Aliane, I am Captain Phasma. We must speak about this necklace. Where does it come from? From the old world, the before time. Where can I find more? No, 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 no. Forbidden. Make her understand, girl. Great-grandmother, Phasma is here to save us. She will fight the Raura and the T-Swells. Jairi says she was sent from the gods. We must help. No. Ancestors destroyed. Forbidden. <coughs> it is the soul killer. Good girl. I'll take space any day. Never leave my ship again. More speed, less grumbling. Sorry, Captain. Well, that'll do. Indeed it will. So, um, everyone just, uh, grab an end? No, Daren, I said get everyone. You said men. No, everyone. That's not what I said. Why would I say that? Well, then you translated it wrong. Just fix it. Look at how she's looking at me. I don't care if it will make you look stupid. Just do it. And don't. Wait, what are you? Oh. Get back into uniform, pilot. We are done hiding. Of course, Captain. I have been where you are now. You came here for a different life. But that life is not sustainable. You will die. You are already on the verge of being exterminated by a stronger indigenous species intent on wiping you out. If you wish to survive, you will have to use all the resources at your disposal. You will have to become something else, including that which you deliberately left behind. You must take up arms together. You must use that which is unknown to you, that which your ancestors built. If you can do this, you cannot be defeated. I will lead you to victory. I have been sent here to lead you to this victory. Here, if we run consistent current at the lowest tide, you see? Yes. And after that, once we're inside? We will deal with that when it happens. What? But nothing. There is no way to know what awaits us there, pilot. Even though the Peror aren't sure, having never seen it themselves. We cannot worry about what we cannot know. It is a waste of time. We will deal with it when the time comes. With luck, this plan will limit our casualties and we'll have the best possible numbers to face whatever greets us beyond that wall. Understood. Yes, Captain. I... What? Your speech. It was very good. You're really making a difference in their lives. Don't be absurd. I need an army to get through there. They're nothing more than cannon fodder, pilot. Do it now. Now release. I 
can hear them climb faster. I'm so going to fall. Yes, Phasma. Faster. Move faster, Siv. They are gaining. Yes, Phasma. Faster is... Siv! I am okay. Just some weakness along the ridge. Yes, it's weak all along that ridge. Siv, careful. Uh, Captain? Who's Siv? She is... was someone I used to know. It... it is of no concern. Move faster, pilot. Yes, Captain. If I never climb anything again, it will be too soon. <sighs> oh. Oh no. It begins. will be there. Stay here and keep watch. Make sure our exit remains visible. But the battle... You forget yourself, pilot. We are here for Grievous. Nothing more. Grievous. Captain Phasma? I have never been so glad to see anyone, Captain. These people are savages. I feared I would never again see the First Order. Do not pretend with me, Rivas. We both know what we know. Well, what now then? You know what now. Confess, Rivas. Clear your conscience. Confess what? I have nothing to confess. It... It doesn't have to be this way, Phasma. I... I won't tell anyone. Confess, Rivas. I can't confess! I didn't do anything! It was you! You lowered the shields! You're responsible for the destruction of Starkiller Base! You, you can't pin this on me! Confess, Rivas. I... I won't tell anyone, Phasma. Please! Confess. <gasps> She finds out I know, and that's me. So, I saw nothing. Okay. Make her think I'm totally focused on the fate of the Lepreur. It's my only way off this rock alive. Where were you, pilot? I told you to wait here. I... Some of the Aurora were advancing. I had to fight them off, push them back to keep our escape rope clear. Did you find him? Is it done? Yes, the traitor has been done with. It's time to get off this worthless rock. What about the Lupror? We're just leaving them? They're doomed. No, they have a chance, Captain. We let them here. We baited them into this. We can help them win the day. And why would we? Why are you even sure we should be helping them? The Lepreur all are colonists to this planet. Colonists trying to take it away from the indigenous population. This planet is rejecting them. They are not suited to its evolution, and it's only a matter of time before they are but a memory. Perhaps a few among them will survive for something else. But they are in their final days. Our arrival simply advanced that time to him. The tide is coming in. When it does, the Roar will be more capable in the water and will wipe them out. Time to go. Prep the fighter, pilot. I want to be out of here before the tide finishes coming in. Yes, Captain. As I said, the tide has come for the Lepreur. They are all but a memory. Looks good, Captain. All systems online. I think heading back to the First Order's original... Hands up and turn around, pilot. BBK-8? Captain, 
Why? You know why, Pilot. But I don't. I don't know anything. And even if I did, I wouldn't say anything. All this time we've spent together, have you really learned nothing? I'm a survivor no matter what the cost. Today the cost is loose ends. What loose end? I'm not a loose end. I have no way to threaten you, Captain. Please, I know nothing. It doesn't matter what you know. I was careful. Even one loose end is one too many, pilot. Captain Phasm notes continued. Four days ago, after discovering that Lieutenant Rivas was responsible for deactivating the shield on Starkiller Base, ultimately leading to the base's destruction at the hands of the Resistance, pilot TN3465 and I tracked Rivas to the planet Looper Or. On Looper Or. While circumstances prevented me from returning Rivas to the First Order alive for interrogation, I did successfully execute him for his crimes. Unfortunately, Pilot TN3465 and the First Order BB droid were both destroyed in the process. I am now en route to rejoin the fleet. Plasma. We'd begun to fear for your untimely demise. General Hux, apologies for my delay. Care to educate me on where you have been all this time? What could have been more important than being here? More important than adhering to protocol? Certainly, General. The recorded notes from my journey are being downloaded now from the fighter I returned in. I will make sure they are made available to you immediately. Perhaps now, in your own words? Of course. In brief, I hunted down and disposed of Lieutenant Rebus, the traitor who lowered the shields on Starkiller Base, ultimately allowing the base to be destroyed. You're anxious to return to your division, I assume? I am, General. Very well. We shall speak more on this after I've had time to review your full debrief. I should have known that even an exploding planet could not kill you, nor impede your devotion to the First Order, Phasma. <laughs> 